Welcome to From Soup to Tomatoes. My name is Renee. I'm a registered nurse and a personal trainer. I'm just like a person, just like you guys, right? So my goal is always to maintain my muscles. So this week we're talking about strength. And I find in this gentle class, it's a great opportunity to work on strength because we're supported with this chair. So we want to start our strength training with our posture, right? So make sure that the knees are over the ankles, the feet are hip width apart. That will help keep your spine nice and straight and tall because if we kind of allow our, our legs to be willy-nilly, we're often not very straight or stacked. And then we want to bring our chin in and be as tall as we can and we're just going to start with a march. Now, if for some reason there's one arm that's not working or one leg or two legs or two arms, move what you can, right? And the workout has to be fun. Otherwise, what will keep you coming? It has to be fun. So here, we want to make sure that we're pain-free and we enjoy the workout. That's not to say it's not challenging. So big, deep breaths. Now we're going to start to feel our shoulders. So we're going to begin with stretching the arms out, really reaching out with the fingertips. We're going to make a fist really tight and then reach out with the fingertips. Make a fist, reach out. Now we're going to do small circles. So already you can probably start to feel those arms waking up. Only go as far as you can. Don't rush through it. Feel it. Now make the circles a little bit bigger. Oh, good. Nice and slow. Feel it. Savor those muscles. Now hold it here. Take the palms down. Make a fist. Stretch it out. Make a fist. Stretch it out. Now small circles in the other direction. Other direction. Now big circles. Nice and slow and controlled. Notice where your arms go. Where they won't go. How it feels. One more big circle. Fantastic, fantastic. So, here we're going to start with our heel forward. Heel forward. Heel, heel. So you just want to touch your heel down. It gets better. Are you ready? Because we're going to do a little bit of brain activity here. So we're going to take our arms and crisscross them. As we put our heel forward. I know, I know. I've been practicing, so it's not fair. I could do it really easily. But I assure you, your brain is working hard to make this happen. And it's fantastic for it. It is. We're working the upper body different than the lower body really helps activate our minds, our neural networks, our muscles. Okay, and that's what we want ultimately, isn't it? Big deep breaths. Woo! Fantastic. All right, let's stop it there. We got more work to do, so we're gonna extend the leg. We want to feel these muscles in our legs, so we're really gonna pull those toes and press the heel out. Got it? You're gonna lift the leg up and then take it out to the side. Oh, I know it. Lift the leg up, take it out to the side. Now, if this is too challenging, you could always rest it in between. But if you can, keep it lifted out to the side. Right? Lift out to the side. All right, four more. Are you feeling it? Oh, what muscles are working here? Three more. Good. Two more. Lift out to the side. Enjoying one more. Can you think about anything but those beautiful thigh muscles? Exactly. That's where we got to be. All right, let's do the other side. So I start with flexing the foot, shoulders back, chest out, lift, and out to the side. So I call this leg pump with lateral raise. Leg pump with lateral raise. Woo! Are we feeling it? Oh, smile if you feel it. Fantastic. Enjoying three more. Remember, you can always rest if you need to. 
This should be challenging, but not painful. Good. Woo! Oh, one more, one more. Lift and out to the side. Beautiful job, beautiful job. <coughs> we're gonna march and we're gonna practice a move that's really important. So we're gonna have our palms down, okay? So we're gonna pretend like we're lifting a broomstick up to our chest. So the elbows are on either side and then we squeeze our elbows back to stick out our chest. And then we put them back down. So up and back gently, squeezing those back muscles and down. Up and back gently, squeezing our muscles, sticking our chest out and down. This move is called an upright row. It is super important for your upper back. It strengthens all of the muscles that help feed the vertebrae at the top of your spine. Lift and squeeze. Okay, keep yourself nice and tall. One more. Lift and squeeze. Now, if that one's really hard, it's likely because those muscles need a little bit of work, and that's fine. So, if it was already really hard, you may not want to add the resistance. You might want to do it with your own body weight. But if you feel like you can, take a resistance band and we put it under both feet. Now we can have our feet together or a little bit apart. I like together because I feel like I have more room for my arms. I grab the very tip of the band. I follow the exact same thing we just did. So sitting nice and tall, tucking my chin in, I lift my elbows and I squeeze them back and then I release them. So make sure you stay tall. You should be able to look at me. There's a rod through your body and you gotta keep it nice and tall. Two, shoulders back, chest out, up and back, three. That's it, nice and controlled. Shoulders back, chest out, lift and back, four. Do you feel those? Woo! Smile if you feel them. Five. Oh, good job. Good job. Almost there. Almost there. Up and back. Six. Only two more to savor. Oh, come on now. We're working on strength. You're doing fantastic. One more. One more. Good. All right. So that one worked our upper backs. Now we're going to work the bicep. Okay? So we're gonna hold the band. You're gonna grab the band and grab it with one hand so you're holding it with the tip of it near your thumb. It's called microphone hold. And this hold will keep your wrists safe. So shoulders back, chest out, elbows tight to the body. We're gonna curl our palms towards our armpits. Yes, good, and down. So when we're doing this kind of move, the going down part here is where muscle gets built the most. So inhale up, exhale slowly down. Yeah, that's it. Good. Inhale up, exhale slowly down. Oh, those look really good. Inhale up. So this is a bicep curl in a hammer hold, so a hammer curl. Three more, three more. Big deep breaths. Inhale up. You're looking fantastic. Woo! Good. Two more. And one more. So before we get to the next one, I want you to do something for me. You now have your hands to the side and lift them and then take them to the front and lift them. So that's what we're doing, okay? Yeah, we're doing exactly that. Now, if that's already hard, just do it with your own body weight. If you wanna add a little bit of resistance, this is a hard one, so grab it at the very tips of the band. See, I'm gonna hold just the tip of the band in my fingertips. So my palms are down, shoulders are back, and I add resistance 
by doing the band. But if it's already hard, then that's good. You're good where you are now. That's it. Shoulders back, chest out, lift, pause, and lower, and then to the front. Lift, pause, and lower. That looks really good. If it's too hard with the band, just do it with no band. I kind of make it look easy, because I've been doing it a while, but it's not easy. Right? Because it's a small muscle group. It's the little shoulders. So up. Really nice. That looks good. Everybody's doing good. Only as high as your shoulder. Good. Two more. Two more. Shoulders back, chest out, lift. Good. Notice where you feel it. Notice which one is harder. Huh? One more. Good. Fantastic. All right, it gets more fun from here. It gets more fun. So we're going to put it under one foot now. Got it? One foot. You're going to do the same hold. You're going to grab the band so that the tip of the band is at the top of your hand. See, like a microphone. So again, here. And then, if you've never done this class before, we hold the band, pulling our elbows back and squeezing them against our rib cage. This is called a row position, okay? So we don't move our hands, only our legs. So we're gonna bring the leg in, press it out, and lift it. Yeah, that feels good, right? In, this is the leg press. Leg pump. Oh, I like how your arms aren't moving. Very good. In. That takes a while for people, so good job. And lift, because they want their arms to help, but it's a leg exercise. In. Press the heel out. Lift with the heel and lower. Good. Four more. In. Out. Lift with the heel and lower. Three more. In. Is this easier with the band? A little bit, right? But you're working your back at the same time, so it's good. In, out, lift, and lower. One more. In, out, lift, and lower. So the next one, we let our arms out all the way here, and then we pull them in, squeeze them into our rib cage. Yes. Imagine rowing a big heavy boat. So we pull the elbows in, stick our chest out. Squeeze those rib, your rib cage with your arms. Pull in and squeeze. Imagine squeezing the big muscles in the middle of your back. Squeeze them. Right there. It helps too if when we pull our hands back, we think of pulling them back towards our hips instead of our chest. So three more. Pull back towards the hips. That's it. Two more. Pull back towards the hips. That's it. One more, one more. These are fantastic, right? Woo! And release. Good. So let's do the other side. So from the other side, same thing. We hold the band in exactly the same way. We have the leg out, we pull the elbows back and squeeze them against our body. Hold those arms where they are. Bring the knee into your chest, press the heel out, lift and lower. In, out, lift and lower. Remember, you're not just curling your leg in, you're pulling the knee in towards your chest. You're pressing it out, you're lifting, and lower it. Bringing the knee into your chest. That's better. Press out, lift, and lower. Enjoying four more here. In, out, lift, and lower. These are our biggest muscles in our body. So we really want to work these. Focusing on the muscles. In, out, up, and down. Good job. Now release the hands forwards, palms facing each other, and then pull the hands back towards your hips, squeezing your rib cage. Good. 
and back. So you should feel like your chest is sticking out at the end here. Yes. Release the arms and pull back like you're rowing a boat to shore. That's it. That's why it's called a row. But in this case, it's a narrow row. So the elbows stay really tight right there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Squeeze it. Let's enjoy four more. They're super important. Three more. Woo! Two more, two more. Savor them, they're beautiful. One more. Good. That was really, really good. That's one of the most important moves we do is that row. So, you know how you were doing those kicks earlier? I loved it. So from a nice tall position, we're gonna lift one leg up and just press the heel out. One, two, I know, right? Three, press that heel out. Four, five, three more. Six, seven, one more, eight. Now we do the other side. Lift the leg, press the heel out. One, that's it. Two, nice. A three, woo, four, very good. Five, six, two more. Seven, one more. Eight, good. I saw somebody taking a drink. Fantastic, I love it. Take a drink if you want one. If you've already had one, great. All right, so we're gonna do a ab or spine exercise, however you wanna look at it. But sometimes it helps people to actually put their hands on their abs, okay? So you wanna begin with shoulders back, chest out, hip forward. So you're getting an arch in your back, but be gentle about it. And then take a deep breath here. Exhale, roll your tailbone back towards the back of the chair. And then feel the abs come in. Inhale, so your chest is not going to your legs. You're just tilting your hip and pulling your abs in. So exhale, see if you look at me, I'm just making an arch. So inhale, exhale, pull the abs in. That's it. Inhale, exhale, pull the abs in, tilt my tailbone back towards the chair. Good. So we just want to make a C shape. See, C shape here, C shape here. Okay? Two more, two more. This is called a butterfly. One more. Good. So that's one that's a posture exercise as well as an ab exercise. The next one we're going to do is called a fart move. Everybody kind of grimaces when we do it, but it's fantastic for you. And it's uh, backed up by science. So you want to lift the hip up off the chair, right like that, like you're passing gas. Come on, you know how to pass gas, right? If you want to lift the leg, that's level two. And then if you want to take the arm away and crunch it, that's level three. So we're going to do this for one minute. So take your time. Enjoy every fart. <laughs> good job. Good job. So this is an oblique workout, but it's also a spine workout. We're working our backs and research shows that it really helps uh, with the ability to transfer our own weight. Good. Halfway there. Halfway there. Woo! Oh, it's good for you. Don't let your mind talk you out of it. Your body loves it, but your mind may not. So just breathe through it. 15 more seconds. Take your time. Take a break and come back to it if you have to. Woo! Come on, lift those thighs. Lift that bum. I cannot do it for you. You have to lift your own bum. Woo! That's it. Done. 
Another important one that we often do is called toe taps. So you lift your toes, keeping your heels on the ground. Good. Okay, we're going to do a brain thing again. Are you ready? Keep the toes tapping. Lift the arms up. Reach out with your fingertips. Shoulders back, chest out. We're going to tilt the arms down to wherever they will go. And then lift them up. Keep the toes tapping. Oh, that's good. That's good. Down. So this is rotator cuff. So the very inside of our shoulders is getting a workout right now. Good. Good job. Woo! Let's enjoy 15 more seconds. Oh, can we feel these scarecrows? Five, smile if you can. Woo! Oh, like you're celebrating. Lift those toes. Fantastic. Done. All right, let's grab our band. We're going to do one more set with the band. Woo, I'm stuck here. There we go. All right, hold the band, shoulder width apart. <clears throat> okay, so I warn you, this is a challenging move. So do it to the best of your ability. Shoulders back, chest out, you're going to stretch the band. Bring it into your chest. Reach it out, and now release it. Got it? Let's do it again. Stretch it. Pull the elbows back. Bring it back, and release it. So I'm keeping tension on it the whole time. Stretch. In. Out. Release. Harder than it looks, eh? Stretch. In. Out. Release. Only four more to go. Stretch. In. Out. Release. Three more. Stretch. In. Out. Release. Two more. Stretch. Notice where you feel it. Breathe. In. Out. Release. Can you feel it? Are you smiling? Stretch. In. Out. And let it go. Good job. Good job. I know. Did you feel that all the way up your back into your neck? Exactly. That's perfect. That's perfect. So you'll forget about that in a second. You'll forget about that. So we're going to raise it. No tension. Just holding it. And then bring your knee to it here. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Inhale. And then two, two little exhales. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Woo! Exhale. Exhale. Don't tell the others, but this is my very favorite class to teach. You know why? Because you guys work so hard. I love it. Woo! I can see the strength building right now. And I know you think it's hard, but you're doing it only two more to go. Woo! All right, one more, one more. Are we smiling? Are we having fun? Even though it's challenging, we can find pleasure in it. Good. Fantastic. All right, I got one more because we haven't done a, twi a twist yet, and we have to do a twist, a gentle twist with each one. So we're going to put the band behind us, right? And just put it right down your back. You're going to stretch the band out and just twist gently to one side, gently up, nice and tall. Press your feet into the floor and over. When you come back to your center, release your arms. Give them a little break. Give them a little break. And then stretch them out again. One side, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, release. Shoulders back, chest out, big deep breath. Oh, those are nice. Oh, yes. Can I bring them in? That's really good. The stretching really makes you stay tall. I like it. Inhale, exhale. Looking really good. Let's enjoy just four more little ones, okay? Just four more little ones. Stretching, exhaling. Inhaling, gentle, exhale, 
Inhale, release. Three more to savor. Three more. Up. Exhale. Exhale. And release. Only two more. Only two more. Reach. Exhale. Stay tall, tall, tall. And release. One more. Just one more to go. Out. Exhale. Exhale. Good. So you should have felt that in here as well as the arms. Good job. All right. So hamstring stretch. Out of all of the stretches we do, this is the most important. It's the hamstring stretch. So it doesn't matter if the leg is straight, although you feel it more if it is straight, but you can soften it. It really matters that the foot is flexed. So none of this, you want to bring the toe up and towards you. Hands on hips, shoulders back, chest out, press the chest forward. And you should begin to feel the back of your legs, your lower back, somewhere like that. Big deep breath. Exhale, try to go a little more forward if you can today. One more deep breath here. Good. And then we come back up. Did everybody feel that right back here? Good. And then the other side. So flexed foot, that's the important part here. Shoulders back, chest out. And then we don't want to lead with our face. We want to lead with the chest. Tuck the chin in to keep that face uh, from leading the show. Big deep breath here. Press forward. One more. Good. And then come back up. So the opposite stretch to that is the quad stretch. Now sometimes people are a little resistant to doing the quad stretch, but uh, believe you me, it improves uh, faster than the hamstring. So you can use your band to put it around your ankle, so then start to get your knee closer to under your hip. Now at first, it may be tight and you may be over here, but you eventually want to get here. Yeah, you got it. Big deep breaths, looking straight ahead, pressing the hip forward to feel the front thigh. Good, one more deep breath here. Good. And then we switch sides. So release that leg, go all the way over to the other side. Those quad stretches are looking really, really good, by the way. Really good. Fantastic. I used to do a class for the health unit, and within 12 weeks, people would notice a huge difference just practicing this twice a week. Shoulders back, chest out, big deep breaths. Good. And we already actually did a lot of um, chest stretches today. So we're going to do shoulder stretch. Very basic. So the, the very first shoulder stretch I show anybody is you begin with a straight arm. You take that straight arm right across your body. Keep it straight. And then take the other arm and pull that straight arm into your chest. Now you may find that your shoulder wants to go up. So try to pull that shoulder down and see the stretch, how it changes. Good. One more deep breath here. Everybody feel that? Like right around here. Let's do the other side. It's called horizontal shoulder stretch because the arm stays horizontal. And then you pull it into your body, pull the shoulder blade down. You want to make room between your ear and your shoulder. Yeah, I want to see some space there. Good. One more deep breath. Good. And then press your hands together. Turn them upside down. This is a wrist stretch. And actively, you should feel a wrist stretch right here. Is it tight? And then bring it back and bring it up, 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 all the way up, and then back. Good. And then we bring it back up. And then bring it back, and we're going to do that one more time. So pressing it down here, turning it upside down. Press the hands together. Feel those palms. And then up, 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 up. 
and then back. That's a tricep stretch. Doesn't that feel good? Good job, good job. Good job, everyone, good job. Thank you all. And notice how much stronger you get as you work out, right? If you've been at it a while, I'm sure you've noticed the differences already. So good, good job to you all, and I'll see you on Friday, all right? Thank you.